Hello YouTube, welcome to this 45 minute mindful movement class. This is a live recording from a Zoom session I hosted in December, just to say thank you for supporting this channel throughout 2022. And I hope to see you in 2023 for a January series. So please do enjoy this class. You don't need anything at all, no equipment. I'm not even using a mat today. You just need a comfortable surface and an open mind. And let's get started. Okay. So it's coming to find a standing position and that might not necessarily mean still. So if you start to kind of sway, I invite you to bring one hand onto your heart and one hand onto your belly. And if it feels okay this morning, maybe closing the eyes or just settling your gaze. And as you stand here today, just notice what comes up for you. Maybe there's a strong physical sensation, an emotional one. Beginning to tune out from any external noises, maybe the sounds going on in your house or outside. And then maybe setting an intention for this practice or an intention for your day. And see if you can feel that intention right in your heart, right in your gut, beneath your hands. And every time your mind starts to wander, maybe you start to get a little bit in your head with this practice, just acknowledge that and come right back to feeling that sensation in your body. Lovely. So maybe just starting to shift the weight side to side in the feet. Noticing how the rest of the body responds to that ever so slight weight shift. Allowing your breath to become softer and wider. Beautiful, nice. On your next inhalation, whenever it arrives, we're gonna reach our hands up overhead, grab a hold of your hands, and then take a little side bend to the other side. And then just any movements that feel good to here. So maybe it's side to side. You might enjoy a little back bend or forward bend. Beautiful, give yourself that space for a full body yawn. Wonderful, and then releasing your hands slowly down onto your hips, maybe separate your feet a bit wider, soften through the knees, and we're gonna make some nice big hula hoop circles. So if balance allows, you can close your eyes if you want and just feel into the sensations or keep them open. Beautiful. If you're going in one direction, try opposite direction. And 
everything I offer is a suggestion, by the way. So if something doesn't work for you, feel free to change it. You can keep both legs straight. You can keep both legs bent. One of each. Beautiful, nice. Good, from here, separate your feet a little bit wider, big toes turned out. We're gonna take a nice big stretch overhead. Exhale, bend into the knees and we're gonna come down to a squat position. So hands can come to the floor or hands at your heart, however you prefer to take it. And then just begin to shift the weight from side to side, warming up your feet and your ankles. Lovely. Good. From here, bringing the hands down if they aren't there already, and we're gonna to come to an all fours position. So step your right knee back, left knee back, spread your fingers wide, tuck your toes. We're just gonna start by making some nice big circles over the wrists. If your wrists are feeling sensitive, please just be really gentle with yourself today. Glorious, circling the opposite way. And then winding it in, so you come to a stop and the shoulders stack over the wrists. Perfect, bring all of your attention down to your tailbone and begin to make some circles with your tailbone. And as they start to get bigger, feel the rest of your spine respond. Don't worry if they're not perfect circles. <laughs> Now the tricky part is changing direction. <laughs> Circling the opposite way. Beautiful, and then begin to just incorporate some movement that just feels good. So close your eyes and just feel into that all fours position. What feels welcome or even necessary this morning for you to Wake up your body. Lovely. Good, come into a neutral all fours position. Keep your toes tucked. Walk your hands back and we're gonna stretch out through our feet. So if this ever feels too much, feel free to untuck your toes. Otherwise, wrists together, fan out your fingers. And we're gonna to begin to roll out our wrists. So just bringing in the wrists in front and then rolling on up and all the way back down. From here, reach your hands high, stretch your fingers up, have a little bit of a side to side, open up through the rib cage even more. Lovely, good, and then releasing the hands down, untuck your toes, give your toes a little bit of a tap out, maybe a roll out through the ankles. Perfect, coming back to all fours, take a breath in. As you exhale, you're gonna turn on your right foot, lift your right knee and send the hips back. As you inhale, come forwards. Exhale, left knee lifts, hips back. And we're gonna alternate through that. Feel free to add or take away any movement. Lovely. 
Lovely. Really nice. Coming back to an all fours position. Bring your feet together so your toes are touching, your ankles are touching. Spread your fingers wide. Lift yourself up into a down dog with your feet touching. Press down through the heels. See if you can give all of your body weight down through your heels. Nice. We're going to warm up a little bit here. So as you inhale, come forward to a plank. As you exhale, we're going to bend our knees out wide and send the hips back to the heels. Inhale to plank. Exhale, pressing back in your own time. So warming up the legs, warming up the core, shoulders, full body. You don't have to do many of these to get warm. Nice one, good. And then next time you come back, lift your sitting bones up. Take your feet wide, as wide as you want. So if you're on a mat, maybe even wider than your mat. Keeping your legs straight, just begin to move the hips from side to side. It's like you're waving your tailbone up to the sky. Nice, and then bend into one knee deeply and then the other, feel the rest of your body respond to that. Maybe there's a slight twist. Beautiful, nice. From here, walk your feet back to maybe hip width or something a little more comfortable. And then walk in the feet towards the hands in as many little steps as you need. We're gonna take a nice easy forward fold. So a really generous bend in the knees. Let your head go, you can sway it out. Nod it out. Nice, let your head be really heavy. The crown of the head is reaching down to the floor. <sighs> Good, keeping your arms, hands, head heavy. Soften through the knees and slowly roll up through the spine. No rush. Coming all the way up. Just standing, rolling your shoulders back and down. Imagine you're tucking them into your back pockets. We're gonna take a little flow here. So as you inhale, you're gonna sweep the arms up, come onto your tiptoes. And as you exhale, lower the feet down and fold, reach the fingertips up. Nice inhale, sweeping all the way up, all the way to the tiptoes. Exhale, folding all the way down. You can exaggerate this as much or as little as you want. You can speed it up, you can slow it down. You can experiment with straight legs or bent legs. Wonderful, without hurry, next time you come up onto your tiptoes, I want you to hold it there. See if you can make yourself taller. Good, and then as you exhale, lower your heels down, lower your arms down. And then on your next breath in, take a huge breath, pick up your right knee, reach your hands high. Good, as you exhale, interlace your fingers behind your back. See if you can draw the knuckles down to the floor and lift the chest higher. Good, breathing in. Exhale, sending that leg back any amount that feels good. If you wanna get it parallel with the floor, if you just wanna lift it a few inches, that's cool. And then slowly bending into your standing leg, drop those back toes behind. Huge breath to reach your hands high. And as you exhale, cactus out your hands and simultaneously drop that back knee down. Good, inhale, see if you can pull your forearms back. Exhale, forearms together, chin to chest. Inhale, open. Exhale, close. One more inhale. And exhale. Good, from here, release your right hand down in, to the inside of that left foot and your left arm up into that twist. 
option to stay here if that feels good or begin to make some nice big circles with that top arm. Maybe they're slightly on a slant. Maybe they're not quite circles. Beautiful, see how far you can reach. Maybe there's some furniture or something near, the, near you that you can almost brush your fingers on. Lovely, then we're gonna place that left hand onto our left knee. Press into that knee and see if you can twist, look towards your back foot. Just go as far as feels good. Lovely, from here, we're gonna turn and come onto our right outer hip. So roll onto the outer edge of your right hip. Keep your left foot flexed and some of us might even push that left thigh away to feel a stretch for your IT band and your glute. Lovely, take a deep breath in. Exhale, look towards your right hand, place your left hand next to it. Turn your hips to face the floor and then step back to a downward facing dog. Lovely, any little movements that feel good here, take them. Good, and then begin to slowly walk your feet towards your hands in as many wee steps as you need. And take that forward fold, that nice hanging forward fold. Side to side, a little bounce, whatever it is you need. Beautiful, soften through your knees. Really place the weight into all four corners of your feet and slowly rise up. As you inhale, reach your hands high, pick up your left knee this time. As you exhale, interlace your fingers behind your back. See if you can draw the shoulder blades down, heart up. Nice strong clasp with the hands as you send that leg back in space. And don't worry about matching it completely to the opposite sides. Good, slowly bend into your standing leg, drop those back toes behind you silently if you can. Take a nice big breath, reach your hands high. And as you exhale, cactus out your arms and drop the back knee down simultaneously. Good, inhale, push your forearms back, lift your heart. Exhale, forearms together, chin to chest. Inhale, open. Exhale, close. Inhale, open. Exhale, close. And then bringing your left hand down, right arm up into easy twist. Wonderful option to stay here and enjoy this or nice big circles. If you can get your whole body involved, so it's not just the shoulder that's getting all the fun. Lovely, really nice. And then when it feels good, you're gonna place your right hand onto your right knee, press into it, see if you can find a nice twist for you, look into the back foot if you can. Nice, from here we're gonna shift the weight onto the outer left hip, so slightly rolling over onto that outer left hip, you can 
Should be the hand further. Get comfy there. And then your right foot remains flexed. Some of us might push that knee slightly away. Just don't push into pain if your knee's feeling a bit tender. Don't push it. Generally, for most of us, you'll feel it in this kind of region, this outer right hip, right glute. Lovely deep breath in. As you exhale, look towards your left hand, plant your right hand down, spin your hips to face the floor, and then stepping back to downward facing dog. You can come through all fours if you want. Nice, to downward facing dog. Perfect, as you inhale, let's come forwards to a high plank. As you exhale, bend the knees, hover them off the mat, and then send the hips back and up, waving the body. Good, let's do two more like that. Inhale, ripple forwards, high plank. Exhale, bend the knees, hover them off the mat, send the hips back and up. One more, inhale. And exhale. Beautiful. From here, let's begin to walk the feet towards the hands. Another little hanging forward fold. If you want to take any more variations here, go ahead. And then from here, turning the big toes out. And we're going to sit down into a deep squat from here. So welcome to, you're welcome to have your hands on the floor. Your heels can be lifted, it's okay. Good. And then let's all bring our right hand down. See if you can keep your right elbow in front of your right knee. And then send your left arm up, lean back. Good, and then switch it over. So left hand down, pressing your left elbow into your left knee. Right arm reaches up. Lovely, deep breath in. Exhale, both hands down. And this time we're gonna walk our hands forward and allow your head to drop down. So in, enjoying a nice rounding through the back. Keeping your knees wide so your belly can fill with breath. Wonderful. From here, we're going to slowly sit our sitting bones down. If you need to use your hands for support, go ahead. Take your legs out wide. Just go as wide as is comfortable without it feeling stressful. <laughs> Good. From here, we're going to interlace our fingers behind our back and squeeze our palms together. See if that helps you sit taller. So a nice strong clasp and we're going to begin to make some circles. And do not worry if they're not big. Maybe they're just kind of subtle spiralling motions. But for some of us, you might really lean into it. Awesome, circle in the opposite way. Notice where there's any tightness or stickiness and can you send it some breath, some love? Hmm. Lovely, good. On your next inhale, whenever it arrives, we're going to reach our hands high. And then bringing one hand down, doesn't matter which one, other hand reaches up. You can take a little side bend, a little back bend, whichever direction feels good in your body this morning. And then switching it on over, opposite arm down, other arm up. Lovely, good. And then we're going to take this into a forward fold, so however you want to get there. Maybe hands just rest lightly in front. Some of us might pancake all the way to the floor. See if 
you can surf that edge of resistance. Notice where there's maybe a little bit of tightness. The body doesn't quite want to go past it and see if you can just dance on that edge. Lovely, slowly walking your hands back towards you. Bring your hands behind and bend the knees. And then we're gonna to begin to swipe the knees side to side as much or as little as you please. Now come into a cross-legged position. This one's very open to interpretation, so if your arms and legs want to move differently, just close your eyes and let it happen. So we're going to take a nice big stretch over to one side and then circle around all the way to the opposite side. So just starting quite relatively simple. And then for some of us, you might feel like lifting your hips each time. You might even come onto a sole of a foot or a tiptoe. Your side to side might not be up, it might be down. Really nice, everyone. As your body starts to get warmer, maybe you start to test the boundaries of what's possible. If you get tired or if it gets too much, slow it down to a snail pace. Really nice. And then eventually we'll all meet in the middle. So whenever you want to get there, bring your hands behind and stretch your legs out in front. You're taking your feet as wide as your mat. And then just begin to roll out through the ankles, maybe point and flex the feet. Very nice. Good, from here, flex your feet wherever they happen to be. Sweep your arms up. And as you exhale, forward folding any amount that feels good. So maybe you catch your knees, ankles, toes. You can bend your knees if you want. Nice big breath into your belly. And as you exhale, a little bit of core engagement to pull you forwards if that feels good. Good, whilst we're in this forward fold, we're gonna Walk our hands all the way over to the right foot or the right leg. Bring your left hand on somewhere on the outside of that right leg. So maybe that's the outer foot or the outer calf. And then reach your right hand back. Maybe you tent your fingers on the floor and see if you can find a gentle twist. Beautiful, release, walk your hands all the way over to your left foot, bring your right hand on the outside 
of the left foot, left leg. Left hand comes back, twist as much as feels good. Wonderful, then come back through centre and then walk your hands back towards you. Bending into the knees to plant the foot, plant the foot, foot, plant the feet. <laughs> this one's a bit of a winter warmer. So we're gonna either have the toes on the floor, hands at the back of the legs, or you can come into your more traditional kind of boat pose. So let me get the breath right. <laughs> so we're gonna exhale here. And then as you inhale, your left hand's gonna come down, your feet are come, gonna come down if they aren't already. And then you're gonna lift up. And as you exhale, lower. Opposite side, inhale, right hand up. And once you've got that rhythm, take it in your own time. And if you wanna add or take away a movement, Just warming up our fiery center for the day ahead. Hopefully your wrists are nice and warm enough for this as well. Really nice, everyone. And remember, subtle poses are valid, even if you just lift your bum an inch. That might be what your body is asking for. Wonderful. Next time you come down, no hurry, soles of the feet together. Keep your hands behind you and see if you can lift your chest, send your sitting bones towards your heels so you feel that glorious opening in your inner thigh. Wonderful. Then we're going to transform this into a forward fold. You're welcome to keep your feet close or slide them further away. See what your body's calling for. Maybe turn your palms up, relax your wrists, relax your head down towards your toes. Very nice, slowly walking your hands back towards you. Closing up the knees. Plant your feet down. We're gonna roll onto our back from here. So slowly articulate down. Taking your arms out into a T or a cactus shape if you've got enough space. And then lift your knees, lift your feet. I want you to really feel your lower back onto the floor. Good, breathing in. As you exhale, allow the knees to fall over to the right. And then we're gonna slide our top knee up to our right elbow, or as far as you can. Good. And then slowly opening up the legs into a butterfly, and then taking them over to the left side, so the top knee reaches for the left elbow and side to side. And again, make it yours if you wanna keep your feet on the floor, if you wanna have them lifted. Really nice, everyone. If something feels particularly good and you just want to hang out there, go ahead. Beautiful. Nice. And then slowing it down until eventually the soles of the feet are on the floor and the knees just drop in towards one another for a few moments. 
Good, from here, interlace your fingers, bring them to the back of your head and cradle your head. It's going to stretch out through the neck a bit. Release your thumbs down the sides of your neck. And then just a slight little sit up to lift your head. And then just gently imagine you're pulling your head up to the sky and then left to right. Be gentle. But you might just get a nice little stretch down the sides of the neck. Lovely, and then slowly place your head back down. Hug the knees into the chest, give yourself a little squeeze, a little rock side to side. We're going to take just a couple of minutes of stillness from here. So take your legs out long, maybe taking your arms out wide or resting them onto the front of your body. Close your eyes if you haven't done so already. Take a deep breath in through your nose. Release and empty out through the mouth. And for this next minute, just allow your body to empty itself of any tension, stress or worries. Without any movement, just begin to reconnect with any sensations, sensation of breath, smell, touch, taste. And then starting to invite a deeper breath in and a longer breath out. Using the breath to inspire a little movement maybe through your fingers and your toes. A gentle stirring and awakening. And when it feels good, take a long and luxurious stretch, whatever that looks like. Maybe a nice big yawn too. Lovely. And then scoop up the knees and give yourself a really big hug. Hug yourself like you mean it. like you were hugging your best friend.
without hurry, keeping your eyes closed or half closed, coming up to find a comfortable seat. You can sit absolutely however you like. And just like we did at the beginning, rest in one hand onto your heart, one hand onto your belly. Take a moment to notice how you feel now after movement and stillness. And then come back to your intention, feel it in your body. On your next breath in, we're gonna reach our hands high overhead. As you exhale, bring your hands into prayer, rest them in front of your heart space, bow your head down. Take this moment to really thank yourself for carving out the time, the effort and energy to look after body, mind and soul today. When you're ready, open the eyes and welcome yourself back to the rest of your morning. Thank you so, so much for joining me live, everyone. I really hope you enjoyed it. Have a wonderful day. Bye. If you have any feedback or anything, let me know. This recording will be up as soon as I can today, so if you want to do it again tomorrow and see what happens. <laughs>